Pisces. Hello, hello. How are we doing this week? Um, this is your um, end of the week, end of the week, end of the month reading for June. So it's June the 16th to the 30th. I hope everyone is having a good month so far. If this resonates with you. Please um, like, subscribe, share, comment. Um, it'd be greatly appreciated. If it doesn't, check your moon and rising sign because uh, you could be in that energy as well. Just a reminder, again, these are general readings. Um, so if I don't connect to your energy, just put me in your thoughts for the next um, cycle and I'll try and um, connect to it here. Uh, all right, let's kind of get into it. Right off the bat for these two weeks, the main energy here is emotional, um, emotional distance, let me say. We're cutting ourselves off emotionally here, Pisces. Um, whatever it is we're feeling, it seems we're disconnected a little bit with this King of Cups reversed. So what's going on? Why are we kind of disconnecting from ourselves, disconnecting from our emotions here? Um, maybe these, are, these uh, emotions are feeling too strong. It's weird because we have that card to kind of start us off so maybe it's another water sign you're also dealing with um that might be just emotionally disconnected i have a kind of a feeling it might be kind of in your energy either you or this person but it's followed by the high priestess and it's followed by the nine of pentacles and the nine of pentacles for me and my how i read it is always the self-worth card it's really feeling like um accomplished it's really feeling that self-love feeling that self um deserved she has a parent on or he she uh, i think it's he she whatever i don't really care um has that right has the bird standing on it it's like i have everything i deserve to kind of be here i have that kind of stance um i work hard to kind of be where i am and it's Funny that's followed with emotional disconnect card um, and in your intuition because I feel like there is something your intuition is trying to tell you here where your intuition is trying to maybe lead you towards this kind of um, self-love energy or this self kind of righteous energy but it feels like there's a little bit of blockage so I kind of want to get more what this is kind of more what is this is this high priestess energy what's the intuition trying to say I'm just hearing the words open up a little bit here I think maybe you might be protecting your emotions a little bit too much um, so maybe this is telling you to kind of um, intuitively um, open up emotionally maybe it is just opening up in general um, to getting help with something to um, I'm just getting this energy again with this high priestess of uh, using that intuition connecting to it allowing it to help you here to to be charitable to you to give back to you i um, really see it as like the force kind of um here to kind of move you through life because you deserve it in a way and I, I just getting this weird um again this weird energy here um that we cut ourselves off of deserving that help or feeling of our, or our emotions or how we're kind of feeling in that moment. But what the universe kind of wants you to do this week is, is or these two weeks is feel, is be open to feeling, be open to that. Because there also is this new adventure here with this page of wands. Maybe this is this fire sign entering in your life. This is someone who's adventurous, a passionate, outgoing. Um, could be you just having that um, zest for kind of life again, for um, feeling motivated again, for really, really going um, out and wanting to explore new things and get acquainted because it looks like I don't know it looks like especially with this um self-worth card it looks like your your intuition is trying to take you to that place of the self-worth trying to take you to this place of um actualization and to feeling good about yourself here and allow your intuition to help you with that because your intuition is um, basically there to help you that guttural um, gut feeling about things is trying to lead you towards your ultimate happiness so trust it a little bit here and don't be so um, cut off to it allow yourself to feel baby that's the that is the the um, calling card for this week i think pisces I just have to feel those emotions, feel those things. Okay, so indecision here. What's this indecision here? There's a little bit of indecision here with the Seven of Cups, um, followed by the Knight of Swords. Some action forward, uh, trying to decide where we want to go, what we want our next steps at, where we really want to kind of put towards um, our energy towards, uh, whether this is um, relationship, career, um, anything like that, family life, whatever it is, we're kind of having, um, seeing maybe a lot of uh, directions for ourselves, seeing many possibilities. Uh, maybe you're going to be asking yourself some questions these two weeks of where it is that I do want to go. What do I want for myself? You might be kind of in the, a lot of those thoughts um, and unsure kind 
kind of what you want um, or where you kind of want for the future. With this Knight of Swords energy, it's just saying um, unclear about that action forward. I think once you kind of find um, what it is you kind of um, really want, then you're gonna have that drive kind of forward, but uh, it wants you to kind of, I'm getting this energy here, but once you connect your intuition and it wants you to pick, um, a, a direction where you feel the most happy, a direction where you feel the most full of life here, um, where you feel the most kind of confident about yourself and feeling good with yourself, right? That self-love energy. Can I get more on this kind of how Pisces can kind of pick from these choices of where they're really, where to put their energy towards? The Page of Swords reversed. Interesting. Page of Swords reversed to me is maybe someone, um, not coming forward to communicate, even though they want to communicate. So I'm just saying how that relates to how Pisces can pick moving forward. Sometimes someone can be watching you online. So I'm just getting this energy here, Pisces. It might have been the situation here in the... Something might have happened to you where you felt it was very unjust or bad karma or things like didn't turn in your favor here a little bit. There is this mini lesson that kind of went on here. Maybe it's, it's this page of swords reversed. Maybe it is um, someone here you had to cut off or cut, um, cut yourself away from. Um, could be someone, could have been um, social media, something like that. Um, maybe this is, again, you're kind of looking for um, looking for the answer outwards instead of inwards here. There's something you kind of had to stop here. Um, or maybe you were kind of watching other people online and that was kind of um, causing you to be confused because you're seeing kind of what you wanted and everyone else. But again, it's this energy of um, that's not real. Like that kind of stuff isn't real here. That kind of social presence, whatever it is, is kind of not real and your life isn't bad because you don't have um, what they have. Do you know what I mean? You don't have that kind of going for you. Like that's just a highlight reel of life and some of it's even fake too. So if that is like the energy you're feeling right now, I don't know why I'm going on this tangent about this, but it just seems like it's coming up. I think there's this lesson here about something about social presence um, or social media or something like that. There is this kind of uh, mini lesson, especially with the tower reverse. The tower reverse for me means we see something we clear before it becomes really big of an issue so you might have an um, issue here where you're looking kind of outwardly um, for kind of what will make you happy instead of kind of thinking within and what feels right and um, connecting to that Pisces what, what makes us kind of um, feel good what makes us feel alive what makes us feel connected um, to ourselves especially um, so stop searching it for it almost outward stop searching it for somewhere uh, somewhere else or searching for it online I think maybe if it is like like a little bit online addiction or whatever it is, just just uh, cut it out a little bit. Just connect to yourself. I don't know. Meditate in grass. Go to the beach and lie down and think. Um, whatever it is here. Um, so just get this energy, especially with this justice reverse. It's almost like this this bad karma that we're feeling. We're feeling like, oh, well, I did something bad. I don't I don't deserve this happy life. Um, or everyone else is, else is getting what they want, and it's just like I'm fair. It's just unfair that I'm not. Um, doing that as well but it, are you listening to yourself are you really finding what will actually make you happy or fulfilled or are you seeing other someone others like someone else happy and thinking oh i need to do that or i need to um have this or do that you know what i mean like comparing ourselves in a way to something that's not even real here there's the king of um, swords energy popping up air sign energy um here so you might be dealing with an air sign um pisces a gemini um uh, why can't <laughs> Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra? Um, again, here, Libra kind of came up with the Justice card as well. Um, fire sign energy in this uh, reading as well. But the King of Swords can represent in is intellectual. The person, um, <clears throat> the person is uh, very thoughtful, 
So people call the King of Swords cold, but I don't see this person as cold at all. They're intellectual. They see things, again, in that sense, analytically, um, to, to, to make sense or make property of things. So maybe you have an air sign in your life that is like that. And maybe this air sign, again, it's upwards. So maybe this person is here to help you sort through kind of all the confusion um, and bring in a more logical approach to things, a logical um, answer to like maybe what you should do or how you should move forward. If it's not someone else, it's just yourself being like, I'm going to think about this logically here. Like what logic? clear as the next step what can i do the king of swords is kind of my no bs card it's just like um this person they're just like yeah like i see the vision forward i have a clear mind about it i know what i want and i go after it it's that kind of energy there logically i see the plan i make the plan i go for it right so that's all i think it's asking you to do You might have been felt left out in a social setting here. Three of Cups coming up with the Five of Pentacles. Uh, feeling out in the cold about it, feeling lost, feeling like maybe betrayed uh, by someone in the friend group or maybe a group of friends here. Um, I don't know why that's coming up. That might be coming up for some of you um, here, but it's, it just is this kind of friendship connection, the social setting that you feel left out in the cold by, where you feel like betrayed, or you feel like they really just left you, um, maybe especially when you needed it um, or needed someone there to kind of help you through it. Um, it just it's this energy of be like, hey, wow, they kind of betrayed me in that situation where I feel left um, out by them. I feel like they didn't have my best interest. I feel like they weren't here to help me um, out. They didn't really have my back. So that's kind of coming up here as well, Pisces. Um, looking, that might be happening in the next two weeks. So it kind of already happened. But new things are arriving for your life here. It's an end of this kind of conflict. It's an end of this drama. Um, the cycle, which was all kind of, uh, again, about this bickering, uh, about whatever kind of conflict was happening here. It's the end of it, because new things are coming in for you. And I want you to kind of trust that. I want you to trust um, Trust that these new things are, are um, coming towards you in your life. Trust that um, the universe is here to help you out and your own self with your intuition is here to help you out and help you um, get the answers you need and guide you on this new path here. Because it looks like things are on the way for you, which I love to see. And it looks like maybe a new relationship even. I got the um, Two of Cups. So it looks like there's this relationship on the way. And I just want to check it out for you, Pisces. What is this relationship? Is it Pentacles reversed? Is this new relationship maybe what's with an earth sign because uh for you those that are single because i got the page of pentacles reversed so taurus uh capricorn virgo um but it's uh, reverse which kind of means loss of job i don't know i think more they're kind of signifying more of an feels like more of like an earth sign here that might be this new relationship. If you're kind of searching one, um, check that out for Sun, Moon, and Rising. What about the Pisces that are already in a relationship? Um, what does this kind of mean for them with this new relationship coming in? King of Pentacles as well. There's some something about finances here in relationships. Um, so maybe a, a new job partnership or something. Um, it's going to move you towards a, a more financial kind of direction here. Because we also have the world upside down, which means a cycle not closing. So this might have been someone from your past, maybe an earth sign, someone like that um, from your past that might be popping up if you are single. Um, just to come back again and say, yo, what's up? Um, or popping back into your life somehow um, here. But with the world of ours, it means a cycle kind of not ending. Um, so for you and those in the relationship, uh, again, maybe there's this, this unfinished business here for you, Pisces, with this earth sign that might be popping up for you again. You have the King of Pentacles, you have the King of Swords, and you have the King of Cups. The King of Cups is reversed here, but lots of King energy. So it might be a lot of masculine energy around you in the next two weeks, or you're feeling in this masculine energy. Again, male, female, doesn't matter. It's just masculine energy. Um, that we're feeling here. So for those of you that are in a relationship, it feels like we're not finishing. Um, you might be more focused kind of on your career right now or making that going or building your career because um, you feel that's a little bit unfinished right now. If you are in a healthy relationship, if not, there might be some um, new relationships on the way for you here, Pisces, uh, coming in. But I think you're just moving through a space uh, where you're more connecting to yourself and connecting kind of what you need to, to move forward here. Anything else we got for Pisces before we move to <clears throat> a different sign uh, or some oracle cards? Okay, some fear. What's this fear? Fear about moving forward. 
fear about fast pace, about communication, about moving forward. Why do you have fear about moving forward, Pisces? Just fearing that things will work out for you, fearing that things were going to turn in your favor in the future. Maybe you had a past a little bit here of things not working out for you, feeling left in the cold, especially by your friends or other people. But it, uh, don't fear the change that's coming in. Don't fear communication that's kind of popping in here for you. Just go kind of go with the tides because I feel like you're going to see once you kind of change this energy internally, when you kind of open up, listen to yourself, feel like what you deserve, get clear on kind of where you want to go and what you want to do um, pushing forward. I think you're going to see that the universe is going to bring things into you faster and little gifts kind of will arrive and things will kind of start to turn into your favor here um so don't stress too much about that don't feel like um don't fear um things won't come in or things won't kind of happen you for you here is all i gotta say all right for pisces all right shout out quick literally shout out like literally zoomed it was like pfft. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, like, I've never had a card like, yeah, sometimes they fall, but that one was like, cross the, across my tarot board here and flip. So, I really wanted that one because they shot it across the room. Okay. For Leo's, or for Leo's, Pisces, please. Hang on, Luffy. Pisces, that's Pisces. Earth, it's okay. So, I'll start with this one. Earth. Learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. Learning how to be human in a world, but not of it. The challenge for all souls having a human experience is to be in the world, but not of it. To realize their souls have an experience and to be fully conscious of it. To have their soul fully embody their body. People's personalities tend to relate either transcendent or immense uh, or eminence. Those lean towards transcendence, have a longing for heavens and the uh, metaphysical. They yearn for a, a personal experience with God and to be lost in the heavens. They are envious of the angels and they are more comfortable praying and hanging out in the stars than on earth. Those who tend towards um, eminence have attached themselves more to earth than to their body. They spend more time thinking about things in the physical world rather than connecting to the heavens or their other uh, mystical inner worlds. Being a fully embodied soul and a uh, soul having a human experience means finding the balance between transcendence and eminence. Uh, eminence. Being, uh, being in the world, but not of it. Most star seeds are drawn towards transcendence. They're more comfortable with the angels and the heaven. Life on earth can be more difficult for them. If this is you, you're being reminded to choose the soul, to, uh, that you chose to be a soul in a body on earth, and you're being called to focus on more on your energies in this physical world. Learn how to be human, a soul in a human body, fully present and what life on earth has to offer to you. Um, Starseed Soul Inquiry. Do you tend to long for the stars or be more in the physical? How can you find greater balance between the two? And I think that's what it's talking about here is trying to find um, that answer somewhere else, right? Trying to find that answer um, in another place instead of finding it within us. We're centering ourselves and understand that we're going through this moment in our life for a specific reason and like we chose to be here, right? Um, I think that's all kind of what this read is all about here. All right, let me do your energy oracle. Goddess of the moon, intuition going within. Funny, you got the high priestess too, and that's the moon. There she is. This card shows an internal spirit holding the bright reflective moon and standing in the front crystal clear waddles of the sparkling waterfall. Her arms are stretched upward, receiving the light of the moon in the light of inspiration. This card is all about intuition and the ability to receive insights from your soul's point of view. We're talking about connecting to that intuition. Receiving this card upright tells you that you have the power to get um, intuitive information on all types of issues and now is the time to use it. That's also what I was saying. You have, your intuition is telling you which way to go towards your own happiness, to your, towards your own self-love here. The goddess of the moon brings you all sorts of information from the mundane to the spectacular. For instance, if you could get the urge to take a different route home from work, find out later that you avoided a three hour traffic jam, or you may have an idea for a great invitation, a stock uh, investment, or a spellbinding novel. This card could also indicate a significant blossoming of psychic abilities and mediumship, even on a professional level. You're being blessed with the ability to connect, but this card is telling you that you now have the perfect time to open up. Get ready for the amazing inspiration that this brings. Connecting to our intuition. Love that, Pisces. All right.
that was your end of the month reading. I hope this helped.